Sister Mary Luisa, good afternoon. We give you a warm welcome here in Peru, here from all of the brothers and sisters. Today is a day of celebration for my country, for Peru, because of your presence. You are a teacher, a great teacher that teaches us every Tuesday and every Saturday. You teach us to be better, to be better people, to be better children of God with that strength, with that heart that is prepared and set that you give to the Lord. You teach us a lot and I particularly have learned a lot and I admire you and I love you in the Lord, sister. I would like to ask you a question that is in Revelation chapter 2 verse 16 and 17. Yes, Revelation 2. Yes, sister. Sister, can I Yes, read? sister. Repent. Repent or else I will come to you quickly and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcomes, I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, and I will give him a white stone, and on the stone a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it. Sister, I would like for you to explain the, these two verses. Sister Mary Louisa, thank you, sister. May the Lord bless you always. Thank you. In Revelation chapter 2, where it speaks of a message to the church in Pergamos, and the Lord sends a message there to the preacher of that church, but tells him, the angel, he calls him an angel. He doesn't call him the preacher. He says to the angel who is preaching in that church in verse 13, for example, chapter 2, 13, he says, I know your works and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is, meaning that in that city, Pergamos, it was a very pagan city, very given to sin and evil things and idolatry and all sorts of revelries and evil things that people would do. And there, there had the church of God had been raised up. This preacher was there and it was very difficult for him to preach in that place because sin ruled greatly in that area. This is why the Lord said, I know where you dwell. You are there where this, where Satan's throne is. But that, the Lord says, but that doesn't mean that you are not fulfilling the work as I want you to fulfill it. That's what the Lord said. You hold fast my name and did not deny my faith, even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was killed among you where Satan dwells. So he says to him, you have been faithful. You've been fighting. You've been doing the work because truly in that city, that is the throne of the devil. There is where sin lies, and Satan dwells in that city. Everyone sins, and it's very difficult for you to preach the word. And he tells him in verse 14, But I have a few things against you. Because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things, sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. So the Lord tells him, that he was tolerating these people who was committing the sin that Balaam had committed. They were doing that in the congregation, and this preacher was not saying anything. He was tolerant of it. He was not correcting them. He was not disciplining. He was tolerating this, and this is why God was upset with this preacher in Pergamos. And then he says to him in verse 16, Repent! Or else I will come to you quickly, meaning you will die quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He who has an ear, meaning the person, man or woman, whoever is willing 
for God who has opened their heart, prepared it, and desires to know and learn the ways of the Lord, well, this is who he says to them. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. That whoever loves God and opens themselves will understand this, and whoever doesn't won't. And it says, And he who overcomes... I will give some of the hidden manna to eat, and I will give him a white stone, and on that stone a new name written, which no one knows except him who receives it, meaning that person who repents and who seeks the path of the Lord and who prepares their heart for him, the Lord blesses them. The Lord gives them many blessings. Aside from the material ones, he gives them spiritual blessings. And in those spiritual blessings... It says that he also gives them a new name. Now we see that the Lord has given us many names. He calls us his children. He calls us his friends. And he calls us gods. He calls us the children of God, my church, Zion, that heavenly Jerusalem. You see how many names God has given us and how many names he uses? And so it says he gives a new name. Now, I'm sure one day God will allow to make that believer, that man or woman who who does God's will, he will make them know the new name he's given them. That is God's promise. But to attain these promises from God, we must fight and we must be constant and be fervorous. And we must do everything with reverence to God and seeking Him wholeheartedly. And with willingness in our heart, we must gather many requirements in order to have this fellowship with God, for it to be perfect. We are fighting day after day to attain these blessings from the Lord. That is our fight. Now let us not lose heart. Nor let us think that we will never achieve this. I think that we will. God will help us. And we will one day attain to have this fellowship with God. And we will one day attain to discover all of these secrets God has in store for us. Glory to the Lord. Thanks be to our God. But this will happen in a time not too far from now. That we, we will live that life of God here on earth. How many apostles, how many hundreds and thousands of prophets and teachers, evangelists that God has already reserved to raise up, to work and service the Lord. And when all of them rise up, the Lord will be revealing all of these mysteries and will make all of his secrets and blessings known. And let us fight to be those people. Amen. Let us fight to be those teachers, those prophets, those evangelists of the word of God, of the true living church of our Lord Jesus Christ. The believers, the true believers in Jesus Christ, the true Christians. Glory to our God.